Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new video of James Pete Show. So, V8 Turbo Project. This is your first video. Have a look in the right corner of you. There's my logo. Click on it. You can go to my main page or look on jamespeedshop.com for the earlier videos of this project or other projects I've done before. So, engine is in. Uh, on itself, so not hanging anymore. So I made the engine mounts. I'll have a little look if I got a light. Over there. Okay. So, engine mounts are in on the uh, Strongflex uh, universal engine mounts. Uh, made the other engine mounts uh, myself. The plate. Uh, also on this side. There it is. That's the other one. This is a little bit different than the other side, but there's a difference in the subframe. Uh, there's not on both sides. It's not the same. So, um, I hope you can see it like this. You can see the steering box now. It's in front of the exhaust port. So, um, yeah, I'm going to lift up the the car now. I think there is a possibility to use this one. But we'll have a look. So I will lift up the car. There is another st steering rack. This is W10. This is the same one I used in the previous project for the uh, P12. But there is also a small thing with it, I think. If you want to use this, the engine should go up maybe yeah, 5 mil or something. So let's have a look. So as you can see here, I uh, got a new radiator, it's a 420, it will fit the original mounts of the, uh, this is a 200 model, but it's a facelift model. This frame is not in my own car, but it's some, somehow, maybe, it's just screwed on here, so I think I can just use it. This is 30 centimeters is the same on all the radiators. Uh, in my own car, I think there is a radiator from a W201 in it, I'm not sure. But this will fit pretty good. I didn't not yet close the hood. The only thing is I had to slide off some plastic on this side to get it fit in perfectly. But it sits pretty nice also with the uh, condenser for the air conditioning. Pretty good. So engine is in. I think it's pretty nice how it sits above the subframe. Also the transmission is in nice. Also made this support. Originally, this is a mount of a uh, 210. Um, I could also use a W124. That would fit better on the bolts. But then I had issues with these two bolts, so that's different. So I have to make it nice and shiny, so it needs to be painted. Uh, drive shaft is in. I got um, 1.2 mil or something here, where the space that I had. Because this inner piece with the spline on it is longer than you have... Uh, spline in the tube so it's now in with maybe a mil out or two mil out so it will fit the complete uh, spline inside so that's good so I have to put the bearing in that sort of stuff but this this axle is not modified it's in just like it is so this is pretty good the bearing can go in uh, so yeah I think it sits pretty good on itself it's not in an angle or, or anything else it's pretty good it turns just good. Just have to find a way to put the bearing in somewhere over here. I will, I will make that uh, mount in the other car. So uh, steering wise, I have to put over here. Put. So the other engine mount, and on this side. Needs all to be painted. There's a lot of room in here. Easy enough to put a downpipe out of here. I think I will make an exhaust manifold uh, from two to uh, two to one on uh, from the four cylinders. So in an, in the middle of the pipe, it's going to the downpipe. Also on this side because the plan is to get a downpipe here underneath underneath the uh, engine. And then root it up here to the turbo flange. Um, 
leaking a little bit. I think it's just dripping from here. Almost sure. So, um, steering box. The big. I think that's the biggest issue on this car right now. I don't know if you can see it. There is the exhaust port. And there is now, I think, 10 mil space between. So, uh, if I'm going to use the other steering box, but I'm not one to do, because I think it's too much work, more work than this, but not sure, first going to try this. Then it has to, be, has to sit in here, and you also have to deal with these ribs on here, I think. But I didn't try it because there's no room to place it when you're not removing the steering box, or these arms. Um, I think also there is a possibility if I lower this steering box here by and there's also a ring in between there's about one and a half or two mil space behind the steering box these lines are the fuel lines they can be routed in another way I also did it in the V12 they are routed through the car uh, so that's not a problem and if I can lower this steering box if you see here is a space uh, from two or three centimeters. If I lower that, I can also space up here. And I think then there's a possibility. So um, the only thing what I'm going to do then, need to do then, is to have this arm need to be modified because that still needs to be in the same place. It's now rooted a little bit downward, so maybe I have to look for a, uh, have a look if somebody can, uh, yeah, change his arm, or I have to maybe custom do something to it. I don't want to weld on it. Uh, maybe just heat it up and change it. So that's one plan. So for the rest, gearbox has a lot of space in here. And it's moved backwards a lot, so uh, there is easy, easy enough space for this transmission. Then when you look to a W201, and I have a lot of experience with a 201 with a 7226 that will not fit. This is just very easy, in very easy fit. So both sides, nice space. Uh, these lines, what is it? This is from the transmission. I don't know what they're doing there, but they are in there now. So for the rest, uh, what I'm going to do also in this car is, when I have the steering box in the right place, mount to complete front suspension. Um, I want to have everything in. Also the cooler, I want to have a look if I can find hoses. It will be much easier, I think. There's a lot of space in here. I'm not, I'm not used to this kind of space. It's just, yeah, in the car before this, I didn't have space at all, so. So yes, so I have 14 centimeters in front of the engine. If you look to the engine, you can see it's, it looks like it's a little bit like this. But if the car is on the ground, most of the time the back, the back of the car is most of the time a little bit higher than the front. So this engine will be completely level in the car. You can also see the transmission, that's pretty, pretty good. So, this is it for now, it's a small update. Uh, I will put some photos below the video of the uh, engine mounts that I made. They're made from a 10 millimeter plate to the engine and the uh, plate for the, uh, the rest of the engine mount is five mil. Uh, so thick enough, so they're heavy, maybe too heavy, but it's very good. This very, the, the mounts are stiff, I already heard it from uh, Stormflex, it's a stiff mount. So, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with that. A lot of room. So, thanks for watching. And uh, see you for the next video. Next video will be about the steering box, how to do it, and the uh, exhaust money faults. Uh, I think I, when I have that issue tackled, I can also have a look if the wheels will fit the body. Or I need to do something with it, maybe widen it or something. So, thanks for watching. Have a look at my website jnspeedshop.com uh, Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel It's a very nice project, it will be very cool So uh, thanks for watching, see you for the next one Bye bye